Hey guys, Lewis here with PremiumBeat.com and today we're going to have a look at one of Resolve 14's newest features. There's a hidden gem within Resolve 14 and that is the Face Refinement Tool. It's a tool that can only be found in the studio version of Resolve and it may be one of the more powerful plugins that comes with the premium price. The Face Refinement allows colorists and editors to adjust people's complexions, from lip color to removing eye bags. It can pretty much do everything that can be reworked on an actor's face. While the plugin itself is very sophisticated, using it could not be simpler. Each area of the face refinement plugin is broken down into its own panel and the sliders really speak for themselves. There's no alien phrase where you must head back to the manual to see what exactly the slider does. If we open some panels here, we can see the operations are very simple. Forehead retouching, for example, we have hue, saturation and smooth, all very easy to understand in what they do, but their functioning is extremely powerful. For example, if I crank up smooth to 100, it completely smooths out the actress's forehead, removing any skin marks. Very powerful. So today we're going to do a tutorial slash run through of the plugin so you guys can truly see its full potential. So how do you use it? Well, let's jump back to the edit page and let's imagine that the editor has left us with some notes in the metadata. So we've got, uh, could you please fix the skin tone? Is it a little bit too pink? Sharpen the eyes and give her blushy cheeks as she's been running or climbing, hiking, whatever it may be. So we're going to go back to the color page and add a node and then open the effects library to search for the face refinement plugin. Then as with all effects, you drag it onto the node. Now you can add this effect on the edit page, but it's a little buggy on the edit page and it tends to crash. You didn't hear this from me, but the color page is fine. So now in the effects panel, we have our face refinement controls. But before we can adjust anything, we need to analyze the clip. Very simply, hit analyze and let Resolve work its magic. And you'll see a funny looking sketch mask now appearing over your actor. Okay, so Resolve has fully analyzed our actor's face movement and it's ready to be refined. However, uh, you can't always trust computers, the little devils there. So we're gonna make sure that the face is fully masked and you can do this by selecting show mask and we're just gonna remove the overlay as well. Now Resolve has done a pretty good job. Resolve in general is, is pretty world-class for tracking and analyzing data, but I can see around the chin area, it's slightly cut off. So I'm gonna adjust the mask size ever so slightly using the mask size slider, of course. So we can now turn the mask off. And uh, personally, once the analysis is complete, I like to keep the overlay off too. Okay, so first the editor wants the eye sharpened and this entire control panel, as I've said, it's broken down into areas of the face. So we're just gonna find the eye settings and expand the panel. At the very top, we already have an option to sharpen. Now previously, without the refinement plugin, you'd have to create two power windows, sharpen each eye individually, uh, track the movement, and it's a lot of work for such a simple tweak. The face refinement plugin streamlines all of that. So I'm going to adjust the eye sharpening by a very small amount. And looking at the before and after, you know, I don't know if I'm ever gonna be able to grade another shot without sharpening the eyes because it just looks so nice. Now, next we have to neutralize the skin tones, a little bit too pink at the moment. And anything to do with the overall color and luminance of the face can be found in the color grading panel. And look at that, there's a slider to remove and fix skin shine. A few months back, I spent several hours writing an article on how to do that very thing. Waste of time now. So to fix the tone, we're going to introduce a little bit of green by sliding the tint slider left. Okay, here we go. Skin overall looks a lot more neutral. And finally, the editor wants the actress to have rosy cheeks. Uh, she's been climbing or hiking again, I, I don't know. Now, while there is uh, control parameters for cheek retouching, we're actually just gonna use the blush retouching segment. And you can look at this as a, a digital makeup assistant. And we're gonna increase the saturation by 0 0.350 or around there. And Resolve has automatically analyzed where the blush would fall. So you don't have to touch a thing. There's no need to adjust where this blush would actually fall. And that's everything that the, the fictional editor wanted. Uh, do you know what? I think she's up in the mountain. So I'm gonna open up uh, the lip panel. And I'm just gonna give her bluer lips by adjusting the hue. And uh, I'm sure for introducing my own artistic elements into this, uh, the fictional editor would also tell me off. Uh, and you know what? If I wasn't talking to you guys, I'm sure I could have completed this task in under five minutes. This plugin really, really increases the efficiency of adjusting and refining elements of the face. So you might be thinking, well, what happens if you have two faces in the shot? 
That's a great question. So I'm going to skip ahead to the next shot, and we have this uh, romantic couple at Golden Hour. Pfft, clearly, they um, they're in love. Happy. And there's two faces uh, within the scene. As soon as I hit analyze, it asks me which face do I want. And the face active is the one within the blue square. So if you want to analyze and correct both faces, simply create another node and then analyze the second face. This is the face refinement tool. There are some plugins in the studio version of Resolve, which I, I don't really think are that great, such as the film grain plugin. But if you've been thinking about upgrading, I do think that this plugin is worth the money on its own. So that's this Resolve tutorial done and dusted. Remember to like, comment and subscribe. You can head over to premiumbeat.com forward slash blog for more tutorials and tips. And of course, any music and sound effects used throughout this tutorial, you can also license on premiumbeat.com. Until next time.